Hello friends, welcome to Cortex YouTube channel. In this video, let's look at this ABG report and try to analyze it. So pH is 7.39, PaCO2 is 24, bicarbonate is 14, sodium is 140 and uh, potassium is 4, chloride is 106 and uh, respective normal ranges are given side of by side. So normal uh, pH is 7.35 to 7.45, PaCO2 is 35 to 45. Bicarbonate is uh, 22 to 26, sodium is 135 to 145, and potassium is 3.5 to 5, as you know. But, so, the what what we take for easy calculation is average value that is 7. Point, pH is 7.4, bicarbonate is uh, for, uh, 40, sorry, PACO is 40, bicarbonate is 24, okay, sodium 140, potassium 4. Okay, so why I'm not mentioning chloride uh, values? It is a, it it varies depending upon books. So I'm not mentioning that here, and it's not that important here. Okay, let's uh, look at this pH. So pH is seven point three nine. So though it is coming in the normal range, though it is falling in the normal range, but when it is in falling in normal range remember make sure that we have to compare that with the average value so 7.39 is absolutely or obviously less than 7.4 so it's suggestive of suggestive of acidosis so whenever a patient's ph value falls in the normal range you have to compare that with average value that is 7.4 so if it is less than 7.4 it is acidosis less more than 7.4 it is alkalosis in this case it is acidosis so what is the next step when you find acidosis you have to know whether it is metabolic acidosis or respiratory acidosis for that you have to check now check bicarbonate level bicarbonate is how much 14 14 is less than the normal level so it is metabolic acidosis Alkali is reduced means acidosis. So metabolic acidosis. So when you find metabolic acidosis, so check for compensation. Compensation. So expected PaCO2. Expected PaCO2. See why I am telling expected because whenever there is metabolic acidosis, body tries to compensate it by body tries to compensate it by what? CO2 will increase or decrease? CO2 is acidic in nature, so it has to decrease. So expected PaCO2 is bicarbonate. Sorry, bicarbonate plus 15. Okay. So PaCO2 expected is so bicarbonate is here 14 plus 15 means 29 but here our PaCO2 is 24 which is less than 29 so obviously that means we what we expected PaCO2 is 29 but it is far more lesser than the expected value that means there is more reduction in the PaCO2 that means see compensation never overshoots so that means there is associated respiratory alkalosis is also present why alkalosis because pacv2 is uh, decreased compared to what is expected that means pacv2 decreases co2 is acidic in nature that is decreased means alkalosis so decreased then what is expected means there is component of respiratory alkalosis okay so this is respiratory alkalosis next next whenever you find metabolic acidosis next step is to calculate the anion gap metabolic acidosis next step is to calculate anion gap anion gap is calculated by sodium minus chloride plus bicarbonate levels so sodium here is 140 minus chloride is 106 plus bicarbonate is 14 so if you do 140 minus 120 your anion gap is 20 <coughs> 
so calculated anion gap is 20 that this that means this patient is having anion gap of 20 but what is expected for from this patient so for that expected anion gap is calculated by 12 plus ph correction plus albumin correction so uh, assuming that albumin is normal so it is zero ph it is not acidic it's not alkali so uh, ph is within the normal region so we no need to correct so 12 so expected anion gap is 12 so obviously 12 is less than the 20 or patients anion gap that is 20 is more than 12 so there is obviously there is presence of high anion gap metabolic acidosis metabolic acidosis so this patient is having agma that is high anion gap metabolic acidosis plus a component of respiratory respiratory alkalosis so this is the interpretation of this uh, patient's abc one uh, one more bonus point for you is the causes of agma causes of agma can be easily remembered with the mnemonic that is called KVLT. K stands for ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis can be because of diabetes, can be because of alcohol, alcoholic ketoacidosis, and can be because of starvation. Starvation induced ketosis. U stands for uremia. Uremia is because of both acute renal failure or chronic renal failure. Then L stands for lactic acidosis and T stands for toxins. So what are the toxins you can remember it by PSM. P stands for propylene, propylene glycol. When you remember propylene glycol, you also remember ethylene glycol, ethylene glycol. Then uh, yes means salicylates, that is your aspirin. M means methanol. Okay. So this is the this is it. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thank you.